Hey everyone, it's uh, John again, here to play some Immaculate Grid, going for that low rarity score in the timed version as I always do. Yesterday, I think I got time in under a minute. I think my my big uh, mess up was using too many good people on the timed version, low rarity score people. And then I ended up just going with J-Bell for Diamondbacks and Pirates, which if you think about it, it's just like, man, there's not that many people. And that was a pretty prominent one. He's an OG Diamondback. Played a lot of years on his early 90s Pirates team, so that was a terrible choice. So turns out there were some better ones. Damn, Plesak would have worked. That would have been an interesting one to go with. I'm going to try to use Plesak more. He is a brewer. Um, he's also on MLB Network, so maybe that messes with the rarity a little bit. But uh, let's go ahead and share. We'll share, share the screen so we get the clock in there. And... Let's hit refresh and play. All right, here we go. Stay unusual. Um, Vince Coleman, pretty obvious one. 100 RBI season. Tom, oh, let's go McGuire. Uh, 100 RBI here. Let's go Robin Ventura. Um, let's see. Roger Cedeno. Let's see how famous that season is. And Tom Seaver. Joe Morgan. Make sure we get the right one. That one. 30 stolen bases in a season. Barry Larkin will work. And for 100 RBI, let's go Joey Votto. 51 seconds. Didn't seem like I stalled too hard on any of them. It was a little higher, I guess. I I did stutter on one. Um, that was that was an example of me wanting to preserve the rarity score a little bit. So let's see. I hit the most popular one, two, three, four times. All right. But fifty-two seconds. Roger Cedeno clocking in at just two percent. Robin Ventura only one percent. He had a hundred and twenty RBI, I think, in his. Um, 1999 season. Um, I didn't step on a Pete Rose bomb over here. That would have been bad. But uh, all right, so we're gonna uh, stop share, start share, and go to that one, and we'll just do that. Sweet. All right, so now we're trying to be a little bit, uh, a little bit more obscure here. Let's see, I know Old Haas Radborn briefly played for the Reds, so let's get him. He takes a full percent. That legend is uh, is starting to grow pretty significantly. Um. And I know Cy Seymour had a 100 RBI season in 1905. That's a solid rarity score. Um, let's see. For your 30 stolen base seasons, Joe Morgan certainly works over here. Um, I think uh, Vada Pinsan will work for 30 stolen bases. Um. Pretty sure. Uh, P. Rose hit leadoff on those teams, but he was not a big base dealer. I don't think he ever gets to 30 stolen bases. He hustles a lot, but he, you know, was hitting in front of, you know, Morgan and Bench and all these great hitters. So it wouldn't have been really that smart to be constantly trying to steal bases. Um, and if we're over here thinking of Hall of Famers for the Cardinals. Um, John McGraw is in the Hall of Fame, as, but I, I mean, I think he's in the Hall of Fame as a manager, even though he has like a 460 career on base percentage. He briefly plays for the Cardinals. I'm not sure if that would work. Same with like Joe Torre. If someone's in the Hall of Fame, but elected as a manager, but they played for the team, would that count? And the answer is I'm not sure. Um... Johnny Mize is is a decent early one. Dizzy Dean will work. Um, uh, Grover Alexander uh, certainly works. Hornsby, Frankie Fritch, 
I'm trying to think. Uh, Chick Hafey, is he in the Hall of Fame? I don't know. Maybe I use... Where I was thinking Tom Herr, but I think actually his accomplishment of driving in 100 runs without uh, hitting over 10 home runs, I think that's a relatively like known thing. But I know Medwick will work, so let's go with him. Ducky Joe Medwick takes a full percent. So these are surprisingly full percentage points, but that's, that's all right. Um... Fairly, fairly sure I got Alfonso sneaks over 100 RBI one year. Todd Hunley does it. Bernard Gilkey will work. Howard Johnson works a number of times. Daryl Strawberry is going to be way high. Uh, I don't think Foster ever got there with the Mets. He was a disappointment with the Mets. Um, Beltran, Delgado, and Wright will all work for the 06 time frame Mets. Um, and some other years in there as well. I think is like a decent person in some of those intervening years, but like Bernard Gilkey's actually a pretty good one. Let's uh, let's see how he does. Takes two percent. All right, so some other people. So you got Vince Coleman, Lou Brock, very prominent people with over thirty stolen bases. Um. Vince Cole or uh, th those are the two. I said Vince Coleman, Lou Brock, Ozzie Smith certainly works. So does Willie McGee. So that's four people right there. Tom Her will work here. I know he's still over thirty bases at least once. Um, what about uh, what about Delino De Shields? I think he had like a fifty stolen base season in ninety seven. So he takes he takes half a percent. Um, and then 30 stolen bases for the Mets. Rod Ricky Henderson will work. Uh, Mookie Wilson will certainly work. Sedanio was a super low one. Um, Henderson was probably going to be higher, but Sedanio led the league in stolen bases in 1999, I believe. Or Sorry, I think he did, but with the D-backs, he was with... No, wait. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. He didn't. I I'm, I'm mixing people up. Womack led the league in stolen bases in 1999 with the D-backs. But I think Sedanio was second. I think I've got that right. Um, anyway, I played Sedanio already. Um, Jose Reyes, I think I might have seen him as the top getter, so I don't want to play him. Mookie Wilson certainly works. I'm not sure how many stolen bases Richie Ashburn had, but it was his final year that he played for the Mets. I might actually sneak him in there. Him and Warren Spawn, I think, are both pretty low getters here. Actually, I think Spawn might be better. Tinkering a little bit. Takes 2%. I mean, it's probably a 10 options or so. And then... Trying down here, like Pokey Reese seems like a guy who might have stolen 30 bases, like late 90s time frame. Oh, you know who did it? Actually, one of my favorite players, Mike Cameron. He had over 40 stolen bases in 1999. His only year with the Reds takes 0.1%. That was a good get. Um, And I could go with, so for 30 stolen bases, I could go with either... Daryl Strawberry or Howard Johnson or David Wright. All three of these guys were were thirty thirty guys. Um, Howard Johnson was thirty thirty like three times though. Strawberry, I'm not sure how popular that one is. I don't know if like David Wright's thirty thirty season maybe slipped under the radar because there were a lot of people like in that oh seven ish time frame oh seven plus or minus a year or two. There's a lot of people getting a 30-30. Uh, you get Hanley Ramirez in there, Brandon Phillips, Jamie Rollins. Um, so I'm just kind of thinking he might have slipped under the radar. And of course, 30-30 is its own category. 30 stolen bases is 
you know, by itself. But if you know 30, 30 players, then, you know, 30 stolen base players by definition. Um, I'm just not thinking of like, I don't think Edgar Alfonso gets 30 stolen bases. I don't think Ray or Donia's gets to 30 stolen bases. I don't think of them as big stolen base guys. Um, Lance Johnson will work. I don't know how famous that one is. His 1996 season. There was a video I've referenced before. I can't remember. It was Foolish Baseball or Jolly Olive or another content creator. Um, But there was a video about how like the 96 Mets had Bernard Gilkey and Lance Johnson both putting up like eight war seasons. Didn't make the playoffs. And then they kind of disappeared right before the Mets, you know, uh, really got good in the late nineties, early two thousands. Um, you know, winning, you know, going to the World Series in two thousand, all that. They were not on that team. So Lance Johnson would be an interesting pick. It'd be cool to have both of them. I don't know if Lance Johnson is more or less from than Mookie Wilson. Wilson played longer in, in New York. Lance Johnson's nineteen ninety six season was, you know, something to behold. I think I'm gonna go with Lance Johnson. Talked through it enough. Takes two percent, a lot of two and one percenters, which isn't bad. It's fine. It's just a uh, you know there's uh, some of you guys are putting down two for the whole grid and just putting me to shame here. So um, I don't know. Thirty soul bases is you know only going to be a handful of people. It's not like you know remembering a reliever who played six games with two teams or something like that. Um, all right, let's see. Who do I go with here? Didn't Cy Young briefly play for the Cardinals? I think he did. But I don't think that's going to be super rare. You know, Slaughter, Red Shadnest. Um, let's see, Bob Gibson. Let's see if I'm right about Chick Haffey. He's a friend of Frank. This is why I think he, he'll work. He was friends with Frankie Frisch, who would also work. But Frisch was like a big player in getting a lot of these guys elected in the Veterans Committee. And I think this was one of them. And it worked. Hafey took 3.3%, 30 career war. He also works for 100 RBI. Also works for, you know, he's got some big years here. He leads the league in slugging in 1927, National League, to be clear. <laughs> 1927. I think there are some other guys who might have had higher slugging percentages that year. Oh, how does that even count? He had 394 plate appearances. Um, Wins a batting title here, and he has a couple hundred RBI seasons, but his overall numbers, he's a 300 career hitter with 164 home runs and just over 5,000 plate appearances. 30 career war. But Frankie Frisch, the, basically the story goes, is he was one of the leaders on the Veterans Committee, and he got a lot of his buddies inducted so that's why i went with him but he you know no 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 disrespect to check check if he has a a number of very solid seasons in there uh so a nine overall i still go sub 10 even you know no, no bad picks just a lot of one and two percenters where i probably could have done a little bit better these were pretty good picks though and mike cameron was a good get that i i remember that one of my favorite players so i like to use mike cameron when i can all right well thanks a lot for playing and uh I will be back at it tomorrow playing through Christmas um, and appreciate all the comments. So hit, hit subscribe. And I assume that helps the channel out. I'm not really a, a guru on, on these things as a low value production. I just do it myself. No product, no producer or anything. And if you like what uh, the banter I'm talking about um, my uh, book, baseball's most fun for volleys is on Amazon. Still uh, might make a good stocking stuffer. I don't know. Probably won't arrive in time, but um that's a uh, link will be in the description below. Thanks a lot for playing. Peace.